everyone today we will learn how to install php myadmin on ubuntu using docker so let's get started so here we will learn three different concepts first i will give a brief overview of php myadmin the second part i will discuss is how to connect php myadmin running on docker and then connect to a remote mysql database or a local mysql database running locally the third one is where we will connect php admin running on docker and mysql also running on docker and use it i using a single docker compose file like with a single docker compose file we will run both the services and connect it okay so let's start with our first part that is php admin overview and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please like and subscribe so first i will log in to the portal with the username and password okay and once i log in there then i will show you the so this is the interface of the php my admin and it has different components so i will explain every part okay so this is the community page of the php my admin where you can get latest updates and features of php my admin as well as the version and other related commands okay so let's go back to our ui okay so in the left nav bar we have the schemas available in the mysql okay you can extend each of the schemas and get all the databases and get the different components like the tables functions triggers everything okay so these are the databases available you can also create a database with this create command so you have to just give a database name and click on create so this will create a database we then have a sql interface where a ui basically where you can run your sql command so i will also show you that okay yeah so this is the sql interface so it's a text box and here you can write all the select update insert statement and then click on insert or execute okay so once you click execute it will show the list of users so like that you can run other queries as well and view the data okay then you have the status of the mysql then the different user accounts available in the mysql so you can also create with that new button okay then you can export and import the databases as well okay like you if you want to migrate to a different server mysql server you can import and dump it okay these are the list of variables used in mysql so you can explore and use it as per your needs okay so the sql interface is very useful like where you can execute the queries and this nav nav bar from where also you can directly view the data of a table then create it edit it or modify it okay so in the second part we learn how to connect docker php myadmin with a mysql database running externally or in your local so in the diagram as you can see the php myadmin is running inside the docker and you have the mysql running externally or it is in your local system or in your local machine okay so i'll show you how we can do this or achieve this okay so this is a simplified diagram and it will help you to understand okay so i've created this document where i have noted down all the steps of connection and the various aspects of the php my admin okay so first i will go to dockerhub.com to the official repository of php my admin okay so here you can find the different commands and the different details of the docker image being created by php my admin so you should always refer to the official repository okay so here you can find the updates or any other issues so we will be always up to date okay so if they give given this docker compose file also the normal command line and also the different variables which are being used in mysql so you can use it as per your requirement so 
whatever is given in this page you can use it customize it okay and you can use those variables as per your need so i'll create a docker compose file in my local system so the file is already created so i'll show you the different details over here so this is a docker compose yml file and we have services defined that is php my admin so i am using php my admin so by default if you don't specify any tag it will take the latest so it will run on port 8080 and i have used these variables the pma host is very important where you have to pass the mysql ip address okay so this is very and the password of the mysql database okay so now let's run it from the local okay so here they have given the commands okay so as you can see the you can see the different environmental variables being used and their meaning from that docker hub page okay and this is the host name of the mysql ip address or where the mysql is running the user is the mysql user of the database you will be using okay so you give this command docker compose minus f so minus f is redirects to the file or the docker compose php my admin file which is created in my local directory okay so once it is up okay by this command you can see with docker ps that the php my admin is running you can also check the logs by this command docker logs and then the name of the container okay so i am logging into the php my admin portal with abt and the default password or the password of the database so once you log in you can see the various parts of the ui as i have shown you earlier okay so this is very helpful this php my admin to explore or work with mysql database so it gives a user interface where you can easily create tables so in the third part we will learn how to connect php my admin and mysql database running in same docker container okay so we leave a single docker compose file where we will define the two services so here is a simplified diagram so as you can see the php my admin and mysql are running on the docker and they are interconnecting themselves uh, in the same docker network or in the same docker so i have noted down the steps in this document i will give it in github you can download it from there for the steps and also the yml file being used here so i have used this docker compose.yml file and i'll create it so i'll show you the different contents okay so the php my admin will run at 8080 and the mysql will run on 3306 port okay so here is our docker compose.yml file so let's check it contents okay so i'm using a version 3.4 then i have two services one is the database or db where i'm using mysql latest image okay and these are the environmental variables like the mysql database the username for it the password and also i have given the mysql root password and this is the port where it will get exposed okay the second service is the php my admin and here i have used php my admin latest image and it has a link to db so this is very important so it automatically links the database running in the same service or same docker so db is the name i have defined and here the list of variables so here we only give the username and the password and note down that here i have not passed the ip address we are linking it directly by this links okay so let's run it with the docker command so that is docker compose up minus d so this is the directory which i am using so here we don't have to give the f file by default it will take the docker compose dot yml file okay so once you give up minus d it runs both the services the php my admin and the database 
okay and by seeing the docker ps you can see that our two services are running okay you can check the logs so if is for the trailing log so either you can give the docker container name or the id is also fine you will see the logs being generated so the mysql takes some time at least one or two minutes depending upon the system configuration so you have to wait until it is fully up the database else you will get error in php my admin okay so it is getting started so i am logging in into our php my admin so it's running on port 8080 so you can give any other port just you have to define it in the docker compose.yml file okay so the database is still started okay so we'll wait for some time okay yeah now you can see whenever you give this in the command line the bind address and plugin ready for connection then you can see that the mysql is up okay now i'll log into the php my admin with username and password so you can give root password as also okay so if you log in with root you can view all the contents all the databases under the root okay so i'm logging in okay so i have logged into php my admin okay and i can see the various databases being created so db is the default db which i have passed in the docker compose file and it gets created automatically okay so you can check the different ways you can run mysql in my other tutorials okay so here you can give privileges to particular user okay so here you see our two containers are being running so i'll show you the logs and please like and subscribe to this channel for more updates and more videos on different topics okay so this is the logs of the php my admin you can see the requests be over here so with docker compose down you can stop all the containers so it will automatically stop both the containers or both the php my admin and mysql databases okay so this way you can easily run and set up php my admin and mysql in a single docker compose file so it makes deployment and also working in our local very easy okay the installation problems with php gets resolved okay so thank you all if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe and comment for more updates and more videos so thank you